How's it going, everyone? If you're running paid ads for your clients, you're gonna need to check this video out. There was a big change with Facebook last week and I wanna make sure you're all up to date. So let's run the intro and then we will get straight into the video. Okay guys, so if like me, your agency is running paid ads for some of your clients, um, you'll have noticed, or you may not have noticed, but last week something changed on, uh, on Facebook. In a previous video, which we'll put somewhere on the screen now, I showed you how you can use the info and ads tab to actually kind of spy on your competitors, see which ads they're running, and to um, just model them and take some inspiration when you're creating ads for your own clients. Now, last week I noticed that the info and ads tab has now disappeared. A few of you reached out to me asking if I know any alternatives or where it's gone, and I do, and that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So I'll show you what you can be using instead, and I'll also explain to you if you're new to running ads or if you're new to this channel, what it is that you can do with this information. So let's just jump straight into my screen share now and get straight into the video. Um, this is Hootsuite and their Facebook page. I'm just gonna use this as an example. So you'll know in the past, if you wanted to, um, let's say let's say you're running ads and you have a client that is similar to these guys, similar to Hootsuite, you can do this with any business that you're managing ads for. Uh, one of the first things that we do when we're creating ads for our new clients is go and take a look at what the competition are doing um, to try and get an idea of maybe what's working for them, what isn't working for them and also get some inspiration around ad copy and ad creative so that we can pass that on to our designers and our copywriters etc um, and the way that we used to do that is we would come to a Facebook page just like this and around here on the left hand side there would be a button that said info and ads and you'd click that and it would show you all the active ads that a page is currently running um, but unfortunately that is no longer available it's no longer working it's just not showing up anywhere um, but Facebook have launched a new alternative. They basically just expanded this and put it into one central place now that you can find. Um, but I know some of you have been struggling to find it. And it's called the ads library. So all you need to do is go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library. I'll even put the link down below in the description if, uh, if for any reason you can't remember that. And you hit that and it will take you through to this page. And this is now the new like centralized place where Facebook are helping you find absolutely everything. So you'll see that you can select, it auto chooses which country you're in, but um, we'll go with the United States for this one. And uh, let's say I want to model and find out what the competition for my clients are doing, find out what their ads are like to help us with our ad creation. We'll continue using Hootsuite as the example here, but you just search for the company that you want and you'll see this page will come up. So. It will tell you a little bit about the company, how long they've been on Facebook, etc. if they've been involved in any political ads, but you don't need to worry about that. But what we really wanna see here is the filtering. So you can choose the country, we'll just keep it as US, and you can choose active and inactive ads or just active ads, right? So I'm gonna go with active ads so we can see what these guys are running right now. And we'll see that they have 84 ads running from this page targeting the US. So this is really interesting for us. We can go through these ads and see what they're see what they're running. Now, one thing that's improved with this new centralized ads library by Facebook is it now tells us how long these ads have been running for. And this is really, really valuable information. So we can see these ads were launched in May. So these are very new, um, which is great. It's great to see what they're working on right now and um, how they're structuring their ads. But what I like to do is just scroll right down to the bottom so that you can see the ads that have been running for the longest period of time because this is how you'll be able to understand maybe which ads are performing really well if they've been running ads for a long period of time then you'll know that that ad is probably performing well and that's why it's still running now it might take us a while to get down here because someone like Hootsuite will run a lot of ads but this is an example where we can see this ad has been running since the 1st of January 2019. So it's likely that if these ads are running still from that time, which they are because it says they're active, and these ones from February, they're likely seeing success with these. So this is the way that when we first start working with new clients on a paid ad side from, from Facebook anyway, we'll go and we'll find all of their different competition and we'll do searches. I believe you can also search by topics. So you could search for like um, restaurants maybe. Let's see what comes up. Restaurants near my location. Okay, no. So let's see what happens if you just search restaurants. I haven't tried this because as some of you guys know, uh, we just focus on 
software companies, SaaS businesses within my agency, but you'll be able to sort of search by different um, different niches like this and try and get some inspiration too. I don't know how accurate these are going to be, um, but this is where the new info and ads tab is and how you can find it. I just wanted to drop this video. I know it's fairly short but and straight to the point, but it's really important to share this with you guys because I know some of you have been like worried and thinking this has disappeared. So it's not, it's still available. Uh, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, thank you. Please do me a huge favor. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like so that more people can see this. Uh, drop a comment down below if you found it useful and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll be seeing you all again very soon for another video. So thank you and I'll see you soon.